Hello everyone, and welcome to Motivational Monday. Today is a big day because this is the first Motivational Monday of 2020. And though I may have spoken about the new year last week, I talked about it in a different way. We were talking about appreciating the previous year as the new year was approaching. Now it's time to talk about what is upon us, which is 2020 and another new year and a new decade and all this other stuff. Now you can take the time to basically own that and say, well, it's a new year, this is my resolution, I wanna do this by the end of 2020. And that's great, I think that's healthy. But I think what's better is to potentially own the year. Let me explain. The year belongs to anyone who wants to claim it. Now, if it's through your eyes, you can say it's your year. Through my own, I will say that it is mine. And we're both equally right to say that. It's equally right for us both to claim the time that we experience 2020 as our own. And of course, the time that we are using is time that we can use to accomplish something or make ourselves better or make ourselves happier. And that, that one thing can really be important in regards to how you can maintain your motivation going through this new year. You see, it's one thing to say, I wanna lose 10 pounds by this time, or I wanna gain X amount of money by this date, or something along those lines. And those are great. Those are nice short-term goals that you can identify and accomplish in a time frame. But to own the year, and to really say, this is my year. This is the year that I am going to do great things for myself. No one else, be selfish, own the year, make it yours because I'm certainly going to be doing that, and if you do it too, there's no telling what you may accomplish. You could sit around on the couch and say, I don't feel well, I don't feel motivated, I don't feel like doing something, or you could sit there and say that everything else is against you and that nothing will go your way, or you can pull yourself up by the bootstraps, you can be an adult, and you can say, I am going to make this year mine. I am going to claim it and do with it what I want. And there's really no deeper meaning to it than that. It doesn't have to be some crazy philosophical point about how you relate this to that or what symbolism these words may be. It's all about your perception and how you are going to make this year the best year of your young life. Because no matter if you're 20 or if you're 50 or if you're 15, you can make great things happen if you allow yourself to see the time around you. Every moment, every minute, every hour, every second, every millisecond, if you know that it is all your time to do with what you need to do, there's no telling how great you could make yourself by the end of that year. There's no telling how happy you could be by the end of that year. There's no telling how rich, and not rich monetarily, but how rich you are in accomplishment. Because acquiring accomplishments create confidence, and confidence further proves your ability to do great things. If you can look back and say, I did such amazing stuff in this year that I'm going to top myself in this one, and you are forever constantly turning one over another, it's procedural and being able to proceed and continue to do this thing again and again, making it a habit, that is what being great truly is. And you, no matter who you are, no matter what your standings are in this world, no matter how you see yourself in the grand scape of the universe, are just as accomplished and just as full of potential as myself, as people that you look up to, as some of the great people from history, you have in you the same thing as anyone else. Your water, your flesh, your blood, you are all these many things that we all have been. And so long as you can identify that I or someone else is no different in standing in the way that the world works, you can absolutely attain what you want, if not more. And if not more than what I want, if not more than what some amazing person you may look up to may have wanted, you have this in you. And with that, I wish you a happy new year. I wish you a happy 2020 and a fruitful one in which you can accomplish everything you set out to and more. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, make sure to like it. Make sure to subscribe because I'm going to keep doing these as long as I can think of things to say. Comment below. What are you gonna do this year? That's really going to amaze you and me and everyone else. Go ahead and click that up in the corner. Even if you have seen it, make sure to watch it again. It does help the channel. And remember that if no one else is there for you, these videos will always be here for you. 
Have an amazing 2020. Have an awesome new year. And I will see you once you've accomplished something great next week.